Hello again everyone, this is Randy, your sewing machine man, and today we're looking at a brother, and it is a XR7700 computer, and uh, we're going to see what's on the inside. As they say in the circus world, step right up and look and see what's on the inside, because this one here has got some insides that are interesting, as interesting internals, as they say. This is a uh, lightweight machine, so you don't have great big expectations about having robust components on the inside. But folks, whenever I'm at a quilt retreat and I take one apart, everyone wants to see what's on the inside because they never get to see it. So today's your chance to see what's on the inside of a lightweight brother machine that, it's not a bad little machine, but certain things you gotta watch out for with these. Let me move this out of the way so we'll get to the actual heart of the matter and that would be the inside of this guy and the main thing you want to know about this is that there are bearings that are attached to the plastic the front and the back is what's holding the back holds the front together and the front holds the back together and together they hold all this together screw screw this whole assembly comes out down here screw screw this whole assembly comes out they lay this down, attach everything to it, put it together, done. It's like an M&M. It's got the thin candy shell that keeps everything together. But if you don't challenge it, don't try to do crazy stuff with it, like sew stuff that has no business sewing, it makes a good quilt retreat machine because A, it's lightweight, and B, for quilting, you're not going to get into the great big layers for piecing and stuff like that. So it's a good little machine for that. It's not going to be my first choice ever. Unless I'm going to take it somewhere and I need a little machine that's portable. And then this one comes into the frame because it's lightweight and uh, it'll get the job done. But you don't challenge it. You dare not because, you see, the frame is non-existent. There is no frame. It is attached to the front and back shroud. Now the bearings here on the top left and back here on the top right, you can get there with a little extended spot oiler which I tell you you should have if you're going to service your own machine or any of you mechanics you always have these extended spot oiler and you want to oil on either side of that little ball it's a I guess like a steel maybe lead ball and the chrome shaft goes through it and you put the oil there and it feeds it through of course anything that pivots hinges rotates or slides pivots hinges rotates or slides gets a drop of oil high grade mineral oil which is what good sewing machine oil is highly refined mineral oil there's nothing in it there's no solvents or anything like that there's nothing to stain and get on your fabric uh, this machine came in because uh, you know I made a video about this very problem see this little tail hanging off here let's say you have an extra bobbin and you have it wound up and ready to go and what's the chances that that fell within my reach like always the chance is zero so we'll get another one for illustration purposes because we should have a bobbin or two lying about and one that's already wound up here's one right let's get this one so i can show you all it takes try not to drop this one we have a Increased amount of gravity on the premises today. Sometimes you have those. Some days you have large gravity force. Some days it's minimal. So if you got this hanging off the side like this, you wound it. You're real diligent. You wound, wound a bunch of them in advance, and you have it sitting right up here. That's cool, right? You got it sitting up there, and then you're sewing along, and this little tail drops down in and gets caught around this. Anything that moves is going to grab it, and sometimes it'll grab it here. And take it all the way down like this one did down to where the motor pulley is get my flashlight down here where the motor pulley is can you see that let's move it around here if i can't see it then you can't see it the motor pulley is right there and the motor pulley gets wound around there it's wound around here it was on this end it was in here it was around here and most critically down there when you increase the diameter of that motor pulley it makes the belt get tighter and you lose your flex and the motor will start laboring because it's all the thread is pinched down in between the belt 
and the pulley. So you gotta get that out. And the way to do it is to get the end, get the little end that's down there, just a tiny little end. You don't yank on it, you don't pull real hard. You have to be patient. You pull it very gently with your pliers uh, or your, your needle nose pliers or your tweezers and you turn the hand wheel and just unwind it. If it went on in this direction, quite often you can unwind it by going the other direction. You don't pull it real hard or else it'll slide down in between and it'll pin it and you'll just not get it out. It's easy if you're patient. It's not easy, but it's easier. It's, it doesn't, doesn't defeat you totally. If you pull it real hard, you'll defeat it totally. You'll break it off and you won't be able to get the end. You hold it and you unwrap it. Sometimes there'll be one or two or three. You just keep looking down there with your flashlight and your tweezers till you find the end and you unwrap it. You get it to where it's clean as a whistle, both sides, top and bottom. And sometimes you'll get a pretty good accumulation. That's down there because there's a, there's a fan. As you can see this fan right here at the end of the motor, there's a fan. And that fan rotates high speed and it cools the motor. Some machines have the fan pointing out, so it blows the heat of the motor out. Some have the blades so that it sucks the outside air in and cools the motor with outside air, assuming you're not in Texas and the outside air is not hotter than the inside. So sometimes it's blowing out, sometimes it's drawing the air in from the outside. If it's drawing in from the outside, You'll go to clean this off and you'll get uh, all sorts of cool stuff like doggy hair, kitty cat hair, anything that's floating in the environment. If you see it out there, it's going to end up there and you got to clean all that off. Everything builds up and if it's not, it's not supposed to be there. So you, you take it off. Anything that didn't come from the factory is not supposed to be there. It includes any kind of hair or any kind of lint, any kind of dander or anything. You blow it out real good, get it nice and clean. So you have that cleaned out. And once you get that cleaned out, you make sure you have the bottom bearings we talked about the top bearings there's a bo bottom bearing over here on the left side right there oil both sides you got to clean the gear out because it'll be all full of stuff there oil the ends of it you don't need to oil the gear itself because it's nylon and you have the one on this side you oil on the left and oil on the right and sometimes you might even want to oil the idler in there a little plastic idler so it doesn't squeal but get these two halves separated the front from the back that's the fun part is you have uh, screws screw screw a little one hides up here that's hard to find and you have one down here one up there another one down the bottom over here and when you're taking the front off there's gonna be one that hides here in the front it's going to be on the front of this here. You're going to take this one off and then take the one that goes in there to get the front shroud off. So you have to be very patient and get all the screws out. There's going to be like eight or nine of them. And once you get those out, it just comes apart. And I have it unplugged here, so we won't be yanking any electronics around. But this plugs back in, this plugs back in. You route everything back around, get it, get it in line. And then you put it back together, stitch it out, it's ready to go. So it's going to have a happy ending. It's just going to need some time, some oil, some patience, tweezers, light, all the stuff you need to get it all cleaned out. I blow it out real good with a compressor, and then we'll get it back together and get it back to the customer, and she'll be happy, and she'll be ready to go, be back in business. And we'll put it all back together, and we'll have a sewing machine once again. This is the Brother XR7700 computer, alright? Thanks.